What is up everyone? A few folks asked me to kind of show you close-ups of Tang, the corals that I have in Tang, just what I have going on as far as equipment and all, all that. So here I am. Let's go for equipment first and let's uh, do the corals last as everyone wants, wants to see corals. All right, I have kind of this open already. Let's go from this side. All right. Don't look at that. This is something that I used to use. Now I switched to uh, these two. So that's not doing anything for right now. Um, all I have is here as a castle is letting the refugium here. That I have on, I believe, just for four hours. Be mindful of, you don't want to keep it for too long or because you want to test and just make sure that it's not stripping. Uh, lots of stuff you want in your tank. All right, next here, what I have is uh, just skimmer here and then on the back a little carbon here where I'm dosing as um, Ulfur Reef from Tropic Marin and I do those uh, sodium nitrate on this one and here what I have is the um, cock stir I see all that cock stirring down there I have that I'm running that for 24 7 it's constantly running uh, the stir is constantly running, but I'm not dosing it all the time. I'm dosing it, I believe, um, every three hours, I'll dose a bunch. That bursa right there. They have a camera, that checks and stuff, where I'm gone. Some of the electrical here that I covered, just in case. And I heard spill here, but that was just in case stuff. Just something that I couldn't fit in my, all the way over there, which I'll show you right now. All right, so that's that's about it. So refugium, and skimmer, and carbon. That's what I have for kind of filtration. This is what I'm dosing. I used to dose lots of different things. I used to dose uh, phosphates, didn't work out. Aminos, didn't really work out. I haven't seen much of a difference. I used to do a few other things, two part and stuff, but all this that I have right now worked out great. Great, and I actually see a big difference with uh, those in caulk, potassium nitrate, and um, all for reef, and it's all all very easy. I used to dose two part in the beginning here, and then I switched it to caulk washer, and then I just left this just in case if something goes bad in this area, so I can just switch it. And now I have caulk stir, which is way easier to deal with it than just switching containers, pulling it out, filling it back up, and all that. So this is very easy. Basically, sodium nitrate I have to replace once every, I don't know, three or four months, even even longer. So I barely dose anything, but it keeps my nitrate a little bit higher and my corals are way happier because that, way, way, way happier. It was a big difference. I'm not sure if I said sodium nitrate, but this is potassium nitrate, just to make sure that I don't mess that up. I used to dose sodium nitrate here as well when I do it from time to time when I need to do some extra, but that's about it. This is potassium nitrate. All for it is just easy thing to do and it's so potent and I have to refill this one so often as well, maybe once every other month. So it's very easy. And here all I have to do is just raise this up, add a little caulk and maybe clean it twice a year, just pull the whole thing. But that's, that's again, pretty easy. All right, everything here I show. All right, let's go up. show you what I have here. This is my Apex stuff. I have um, other stuff on the back. All my electricals here. I just kept it a little bit higher up, just away from the water. But you guys have seen that I have stuff on the bottom as well, but that's just stuff I couldn't put here. It couldn't fit here. If you're a beginner, don't look in Apex or nothing like that. Just focus about reefing on think your corals test a lot but this is this is for later but this just helps me when I'm not home it helps me a lot just to check on my stuff together with a little camera at the bottom I have a camera here as well all right I wouldn't talk about that much let's go over uh, lighting okay I have here Orfix and I have T5s I started this tank just with Orfix and then as the coral grow and grow, I started to add on T5, so I got this uh, used fixture and put it on a few weeks back. 
core hooks were great as well, but if you want to add any of the sticks, any of the 3D corals, you need uh, some of the extra coverage for sure. I'm going to talk about this lighting here. By the way, this is 85 gallon tank, 20, 20, 48, and this one is uh, 24, 20, and I believe 15. Planet Aquarium tank, and this is Innovator Marine frag tank. All right, this lighting here. Uh, what I have here is G5 Blue Radian, and I have XHOs as well here. I just added them since uh, I plan to just plant lots of sticks here, lots of acro, so I want, needed just extra coverage. Because uh, this lighting gives an, enough power for sure, but I just wanted to look with extra coverage, so that's why I added it there. So, okay, flow here. I've got MP10 with the guard just because I have NEMS just in case. Here, MP10, as well as rocking probably 90% or so. And on the back, I have MP40. I started just with MP40 and then I added MP10 just because of all extra growth and stuff. As far as feeding, I do feed, uh, do have these two automatic feeders. There it goes. All right, they feed pallets. If you want to check what I feed and which test kits I use, just uh, check the description down below. I have links over there. Since you guys haven't seen that, I don't have ATO container over there at all. I have a brood trash container here. I believe a smaller one, 30 something gallon, 33 gallon, whatever it is. So I have that running. And from there, I have a Versa pulling the water into the caulk and going and uh, dosing into a sump. This tank is the tank that I kind of went back and forth. Should I keep NAMS? Should I keep sticks? So now I keep both. So you see what's going to end up with. I love them both. I wish I had one more tank so I can keep just NEMS and so I can have more space for sticks. I like Acros. I started this tank just with Acros and then it didn't work out. Doesn't matter the story for some amount of time. If you are new in the hobby, start with stuff like this. That's for sure. Montes, Anacroporas, Digis, Mushrooms, Anteds. Uh, it's all easy stuff. Way easier than uh, Acros here. I have a bunch of Montes here as well. All right. Here, all my kind of encrusters and monties, lit a few acros here and there. Uh, the fish stir the, the bottom, some of there's all debris in the water. Digis on the back, some acropora is mixed up here and there, and uh, my Chicago's. And my clowns here, they have eggs here on the side. I'm sure you guys can tell they're there. Let's go over the big tank. All right, what should you mention first? Let's go, let's go this side and check Ghani's. There's my little Ghani collection here. I love Ghanis. Uh, the little finicky. I had this uh, glitter Ghani for two years now. Just now I started growing a little bit. So, um, yep, a little bit shaky that can be. Oh, all of them got a small frag. This one's getting, this one's huge when it uh, puffs up during the middle of the day. All right, here what I have, mushrooms here. This is my only affiliate in the tank. And then there's um, mushrooms here, some favias, and acroporas, digis, tylos, and acroporas here, some elkhorn, mushrooms here, some plates, just lots of hodgepodge stuff. Here's my zoanthids here. Again, digis and acros. Up the ladder right here. Love that one. And here, the other Ghanis. There they are. These Ghanis can take a little bit more flow. All these I had got as a frags, so and now they're huge. And when they get a little bigger, they can take more flow, so that's why they're kind of closer to the power heads. And these I have, I tried to put them down below, but they don't get as much flow, so I raise them up. So they kind of get flow from these pumps and they get, get head. And they're getting just a little bit of flow, but not, they're not as big as these guys. These guys can take a little bit more flow here, just because of this, the size. As far as fish, what I have, have a few anteas, have a few tanks here, munching on algaes and stuff. Have six line wrasse, a little fat little guy right there. A little eye coal tank right there. You can barely see him, he's dark. Yeah, let me just go around, just you guys can see the back 
what I have going on. There's lots of stuff on the bag. This tank is gonna be filled. There's jailbreaker right there peeking out. As far as fish, fish goes in this tank, you can see the clowns. They have a Tamini tank. They're all hiding out there. He has Tamini tank. They have a six line rest in this tank as well. A small little guy just right there. They have fox face on the back. Have a netting on the top. Netting on top is a must. I started this tank without netting and I got the fish jumping. It wasn't good, so I jumped netting right off the bat. I do have on my other tank, I have the black netting, which I like a little bit more. This netting kind of glows the other one, the black one. I cannot see it as much. But yeah, that's kind of it. Let me show you here what I have. All my testing and stickers and food and what I use for dipping. This is my uh, Cheetah Girl iodine other things for measuring and yeah there's my little flipper there's some glass there's my notes I keep notes and everything what I what I test and I see they really what I do and on top of just test kits and stuff that I have and yeah that's about it let me see so you can kind of see from the back how it looks like that's what I got this is uh, one of my system I have the other one as well the other one's just so easy, there's basically nothing on it. It's easy peasy system. This one's a little bit more complicated. And uh, if you're a beginner, don't start with this. Start with the uh, all in one tank and an enemies and softies. I suggest that for sure. This is a different ball game for sure. The other tank is way, 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 way more easier. But uh, this one's challenging and if you if you're a collector, you like to collect stuff and you like challenge, then this is it. All right. Uh, I think that's it. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. I go over there by the same name. It's here, Refunded the Roof. Check out the description down below. Like and subscribe. I try to post a uh, video every week. So, yeah, check me out. If you guys have any questions, comment. Just comment down below. And uh, see you guys on the next one. Bye.